The gym is open. What's going on guys? Ro here from Scribe to Grind. It is 9 a.m. Um, got in the car about 30 minutes ago. Been driving since I am heading over to um, a practice facility, finally. It opened back up around last week, this week. So I'm heading there to get a quick little workout. So unfortunately, we won't be able to use the fitness room quite yet, um, but we will be able to get on a court and um, dribble the ball on the wooden floors and actually be able to shoot the ball on the basketball rings, which is a huge blessing. I haven't shot a ball in about two months or so since end of March. So, you know, finally it's June 1st. Um, I'm very excited, finally able to get some work in. I'm going to start preseason workouts from next month, the beginning of July. So, you know, I, I would like to get back into basketball shape before that. So I'm looking to get back in the gym this uh, from this month and start getting my work in. So I'm excited and I'm going to take you guys with me throughout the day. All right, y'all. Peace. finish with the workout it's been about man two months since I touched the ball so uh, super super rusty but I had a lot of fun about to go hit the weight room um, I'm not sure I'll be able to show you guys a workout so I'll uh, post a workout in the left hand bottom left hand corner so make sure you guys check it out stay tuned in the video peace
That is a wrap. What's going on, you guys? Just finish up with my workout. Finally was able to get back in the weight room and you know do some workouts other than body weights and typical push-ups, pull-ups, box jumps. But uh, today was the first day I was able to start my off-season, well, pre-season uh, workout. So what I like to do is to usually break down my workout sections into seasonal. So right now I'm in my pre-season and usually I'll start my preseason from all around July, June or July, June. Yeah, beginning of June. And then I'll go all the way up until September to start my in-season training. And then within that in-season training, I also have uh, different workouts that I will incorporate as well, uh, depending on how my body feels and um, what kind of situation our team is under as well. And also after that is postseason. So three different sections uh, that I like to determine my workout menus, uh, depending on the season and depending on how my body feels as well within that season. So uh, today, you know, it's a simple, a lot of Olympic workouts and stuff to give me strength and power. So it's more of establishing that foundation and base uh, from from the zero period that I'm at, uh, beginning period. So from here on, I would like to build uh, into more specific muscle and specific movements. But uh, within this month, it, it will be more about power, um, you know, stability, foundation, core. So it might not be too, I don't know, interesting workouts are all fundamental but maybe you guys could incorporate this style as well, this system as well into your workout regime. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I wasn't, I wasn't able to um, show you guys the entire workout, like my mobility exercises, my core exercises, but you know, all the other fundamental lifts that I was able to get capture on video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys could use that as an example to see and to build, you know, your uh, preseason foundation building period into your workout as well. Hope that made sense. But for right now, I'm about to go home and pick up Emily, my uh, my girl, and I'm gonna go head to the uh, Sanda Outlet. It's a really big outlet with a lot of uh, high brand products and stores so looking forward to doing that and it's gonna be a nice little drive hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned peace What's up guys, just got home, got a few things from Nike. It was a nice little day. Didn't stay out there for too long, but picked up a few things and just had a good time shopping a little bit. Hopefully we'll probably go back in a few days or a week. Want to get something from one of the high-end stores, the brand, one of the brand shops, pick up a few things again. Show you guys around during that time as well. See you later. Grind. About to, about to clean my shoes. Hopefully I'll try to knock these down in about 20 minutes or so. Get them cleaned up. It's good as new. Looks good. Looks good to me. Uh, what's going on y'all ready to go to bed 
had dinner, cleaned out my shoes. But um, you guys might wonder what this is. This thing over here, it's creating hydrogen gas. You know, I, insert I inserted hydrogen water inside this machine and this machine creates um, hydrogen gas, which uses this tube to, for me to consume. And it has a lot of health benefits, but you know, mainly it, it allows more clear blood flow through your capillaries, uh, your blood vessels, and um, of course, um, hydrates you but more than that it's really good for your cognitive system and for your brain and um, just the overall you know blood flow of the body and your intestines as well and flushes out um, antioxidants as well so it contributes to anti-aging and um, you know better skin um, man recovery muscle recovery fatigue helps with all of that, which has been really, really, um, you know, helpful and beneficial for me throughout this season to be able to util utilize, you know, things like this. And I'm actually partnering with this company. It's a Japanese brand, a Japanese company in Osaka. And, you know, they've been gracious to um, really partner with me and to represent their brand. So yeah, learn more Google about hydrogen therapy and you see, you'll see more athletes, um, you know, taking part in this. And if you guys are interested in this particular uh, equipment, please comment or, um, yeah, email me. I would love to um, introduce you guys to this as well. It's one of the best on the market. Um, I'm sure it's going to be worldwide soon because it's definitely the best in Japan. Made in Japan is best. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Got a long day tomorrow work out in the morning and just looking to get back in the grind man strive to grind that's what it is just love what i'm doing and i'm um, just gonna keep going keep pushing keep motivated keep inspiring just keep doing what i love and hopefully that'll inspire many to keep pushing to do what they love as well thanks for watching guys love you stay tuned for the next video make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and please let's follow me on this journey and uh, push each other to to propel each other into the next level all right guys that's enough for me but love you guys peace good night